Hi guys, it's Roxanne from RoxanneLynch.com. Hey, so when the girls and I were chatting this week about launching our businesses as brand new women within a brand new business, what are you supposed to say to your friends and family, okay? And you guys know that May is my birthday month and there's all kinds of great exciting things, including myself helping my team launch their team members along with my own personals. So how can we jump into this? How can we launch our businesses in a way that is going to satisfy our friends and family, create some excitement and intrigue, and maybe even some momentum for your new beloved businesses. Okay, so you guys know my name is Roxanne Lynch. This is what I love to do. I love to pop into your world, give you guys some um, different ways of thinking, you know, different ways of doing to kind of shake it up, get some momentum and get some traction within your beloved businesses. And this really warms my heart. Helping a new marketer get started within social retail is so very exciting. And especially when I know that these women um, that are coming into my business or even women coming into your business, you know, they've been around the block a few times, you know, so maybe their friends and family, you know, they've seen it all, they know it all, and they're kind of rolling their eyeballs. So how can you share it in a way that it's going to create some excitement, okay? And also having to remember that sometimes when women join a new company and a business, um, it's because there's a, some grieving going on. Maybe their company closed its doors. Maybe their company closed, um, you know, some areas of business operations around the world. Maybe there's a whole bunch of legal battles going on, you know, so women are escaping that stress and that worry by, you know, jumping into a brand new business. But we know as women, um, we, you know, we have a lot of energy and excitement when we start something, but we also do it with some, with some digging, you know, with some preparation and with some heartfelt uh, thoughts. So we want to make sure that we're sharing it in a way that, you know, lets women know that we care and we're doing this and we give a damn, all right? So we need to begin with a few ideas of how we get started, remembering that we do need to announce it. We do need to declare it. We, we need to share it with our friends and our family, and especially also on social media and Facebook, because there's women out there that are watching you. You know, maybe they're watching you quietly and they're also looking for solutions um, because they're in the same boat. You know, maybe they're thinking about the same problems or trials or tribulations that you've gone through that you now have found something which, you know, I call the sunny side of life. So even within your own business, we have to be able to declare it. And so that leads me into the very first point is we have to be able to share it in a way that we're focusing on explaining without the blame, okay? We don't wanna be overly dramatic or negative or trash talking or bad mouthing or burning bridges because it doesn't serve anybody. And ultimately, uh, we know that negativity attracts negativity and you have to ask yourself, is if I behave in that way on social media or if I behave in that con in a conversation, is that going to inspire someone to reach out and want to ask me more questions about what the heck I'm doing? Are they going to you know, be inspired to reach out and connect and ask me about my service or my products? Usually it's unlikely. You know, we know that honey attracts more great things in the world than vinegar, all right? So we have to explain without the blame. So, and I'm gonna share some examples of how to do this, okay? So secondly, we have to make sure that we're bringing a lot of positivity, um, a lot of love and joy, and expressing and showing ways that we've been, you know, doing some deep thinking. We've put some heart into this. Um, we've been, you know, we've been contemplating this for a while. We're just not, you know, doing willy-nilly actions. You know, we're doing things with care and attention. Um, you know, women, we care a lot. So we think a lot sometimes. But when we decide, we decide with firmness. And we, we really want to jump into something. And folks want to know why. Because really, thirdly, that leads us into the next point is your family is going to be curious, okay? Your friends are going to want to know what's going on. But do they really want to know the nitty gritty dirt details about everything? Or are they just snoopy? Or are they just curious? Or are they just asking out of, you know, kindness and because they know that that's the proper thing to do? So if they weren't buying your products before, if they weren't joining your business before, if they weren't taking advantage of your service before, then it's unlikely that they need all the information. They just need enough to satisfy them and help raise that interest, raise that curiosity and that intrigue and maybe even potentially jumpstarting your business uh, by having a couple signups or women wanting to say, oh yes, please tell me more about the products and like why you jumped into this business, why you got started again, again, right? So by doing this the right way is going to pay you off 
big time, all right? So you can explain um, things with a couple of these replies. Then I'm gonna give you some examples, and you can fit and flex and mix and match to your own beloved businesses, but these are some of the reasons and some of the, the lines and sentences and explanation that some of my teammates, um, my the women that have just come into my business this month, and then I'm also helping them launch their businesses, so this is what they're sharing with their friends and family. So you, like, a, this might, make sense to you and you're more than welcome to take these and use these okay so one of the sentences one of the reasons why and this is a launch post this is what she said on her Facebook feed and and sharing when her friends say well why are you in a new business or what are you doing now you're gonna get those questions so you have to have answers that are going to like I said create positivity intrigue and curiosity to get the momentum and jump start in a positive way all right so she shared um, it wasn't easily uh, super duplicatable I was earning some income but my team and my friends weren't and that's true right there's a lot of businesses out there where if that woman has a circle of credibility and influence uh, she can make some money but that doesn't mean that it's duplicatable for her friends and her family and her team okay so uh, the other other woman she come in she said the product had a very small niche and it didn't fit my circle of my friends and family's wants needs and budgets and this one can easily be explained if your circle of friends is uh, middle income you know 30 to 50 or sixty thousand dollars a year but you were trying to market some of those really great quality high-end uh, water filtration systems that run um, into the thousands and thousands um, that might not be easily marketable for you if you have a small niche um, and, they, and they just don't have that budget for that kind of uh, um, an, an opportunity and a product, right? Um, my other girlfriend said, um, I wasn't earning the money that I wanted to be. You know, she was kind of in a, a smaller uh, bracket of income um, earning potential, you know, due to the commissions that she had, uh, due to the product pricing that she had, her, her money income earning was super small. So, and she wanted to be more than a hobbyist. So this social retail business was a perfect opportunity for her to earn a lot more income um, and have, have that what she wanted. She wanted like anywhere from 500 to $1,500 a month is her goal. Um, very, very doable, especially when we're up. I'm absolutely stoked that we just recently changed our compensation plan, which pays more upfront for the new marketers. And when they get started, they're earning more faster, which is absolutely, <laughs> exciting for them okay so another woman uh, launched her business by saying and explained it to her family by saying my goals have changed and they're not really aligned to my past business anymore and this one was kind of applicable to the party girls a lot of women um, join a party business and they have to be out of the home two three four nights a week sometimes there's vendor events where they have to go out of town to you know rent a table do product displays um, you know all those kind of uh, Christmas markets Easter markets Mother's Day stuff and it just wasn't aligned with her family anymore um, so she did she discovered she really wanted to spend more time home with her babies and her families and her husband so you know as you grow sometimes your business might not you the one you're in isn't aligned with what you want to do now and today that's going to fit your future so that was another great reason um, another woman shared she goes I discovered I wasn't a party girl anymore <laughs> and I didn't want to do parties in semi strangers homes you know in today's day and age you know you want to be able to feel comfortable to you know work your business and she wasn't comfortable going into semi strangers homes anymore makes sense you know um, same thing another one said I want to do something with my husband I want to have that power couple I want to do something with my guy um, and the scope of products that she was past you know involved in didn't really fit a guy <laughs> it was really hard for him to you know market lipstick and skincare so you know having something a little bit with a, a wider scope like social retail and marketing that's you know has some nuts and twiggy country girl kind of stuff uh, non-toxic and and clean um, clean living clean uh, recycling and green and toxic free within your home you know maybe and you guys know that I absolutely love my liquid collagen like I said May is my birthday month and you know I don't think I look you know 50 years old so I don't want to feel like I'm 50 years old either so you know I, I love my liquid collagen because of that you know it reduces all my aches and pains and no more tin man feeling off of the Wizard of Oz and you know when people say you know you're glowing Roxanne your skin is radiant it's like 
it's all to do with my liquid collagen. So, you know, those kind of things. You have to be having a wide enough scope for a power couple. There's got to be something in there that a man can work with. All right. So another woman said, I was tired of racking up my credit card and stashing stuff in my closet. I was tired of like putting all this stuff into my garage. Um, you know, I was tripping over it. I was trying to resell it. And, you know, I was just, I really didn't want to keep on putting all this money on my credit card. It made total sense, you know. So those are some of the explain, explaining um, and ideas so you guys can mix and match to your own story when you're helping a woman. Uh, explain to her friends and family on Facebook and belly to belly of how and why that you're now in a new business. So I thought those were some great ones, okay? Because ultimately, when we are addressing the elephant on the table and we're being honest with our friends and family, they're going to be able to relate to that. They're going to connect with your story. They're going to say, yeah, that makes sense. I can understand that, you know? And the other women, when you're sharing a story like that on Facebook and you're sharing that with truth and um, authenticity, you're able to pop the bubbles. Those other women can imagine the same struggles, the same pains, and maybe they, they have those same pains and problems, and they've been looking for an out too. They've been looking for a solution too. So your, what you're sharing might just light a fire under them and wanna have them reach out and ask you more questions. Because ultimately, when you're pre-addressing and sharing in that way their own worries, complaints, struggles, and trials and tribulations, you're doing it and you're, you're in control. You're in control of how you're sharing and how you're launching your business, sharing your stories. And it shows that you're also being professional. It shows that you're showing up online in a way that is adding credibility um, and visibility to you and you're being professional. You're doing this in a classy way, right? You don't want to be, like I said, it's explaining without the blame. It's showing the honey and not the vinegar, all right? So, you know, it also shares with your audience that you've been doing some deep thinking about this. You're serious about this. So some great conversation starters and subject titles for Facebook posts. And these are just like little mini headliners to help catch their attention. So they're going to read more. Um, and and I, this is very, very powerful. This little mini tidbit of a headliner goes a long way. So I'm just going to rattle them off for you. You guys can catch the replay on this. Stop, rewind it, write it down, grab a pen. That's fantastic. Um, so these are subject titles for Facebook or social media posts, which is call me crazy, but, you know, and then share what's going on in your world. I confess it's true and then share your story. I'm not a quitter, so I share your story. It was time for a positive change. I've decided to pick up a plan B. I have an announcement. This may surprise you, but it was time for new adventures. The secret is out. It's time for new adventures. Ta-da! I joined a new business, okay? And then share a few positive uh, points of, that's going to create some curiosity. That's the non-salesy and spammy stuff that is going to encourage you, women to cheer you on, you know, because they know the struggles, they know the pains, they know the problems. So they want you to have success. They want you to be, like I say, on the sunny side of life. You know, the right women are going to be cheering you on. And those are the women that, you know, you want in your life, okay? It's going to put eyeballs on you. It's going to be creating conversations and deepening relationships, which is the, the all the basics um, and the basis for future businesses to be built, all right? So those are some of the ideas that I have for you guys today. As always, if you don't um, know what the heck social retail is that I absolutely have fallen in love with now and uh, after saying no and no, 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 no to MLM and not network marketing for two years of why I said yes again and decided to join this amazing company, you can check out all the details at roxannelynch.info. If you want more information about me, um, you know, what I do, and definitely you can go check out my blog. It's at roxannelynch.com and you guys know where to reach me on Facebook and ask me more questions and I'm always looking to meet more wonderful women just like you so you guys have a fabulous afternoon and I look forward to seeing you guys all tomorrow on the sunny side of life bye guys